Well, hello, this is Bishop Spears, and again, we're so excited to welcome you to, to our First St. John Cathedral family. We are looking forward to the word going forth today, and I want to encourage you because there is so much that happens in the mind of a believer, and God, I believe, has given me a word to minister to your mind, to your heart, and your spirit because if we can keep you encouraged and have some level of understanding of what's happening, you're going to be better. So I do want to encourage you, go ahead and turn to 2 Timothy chapter 1. There's an amazing word, it's a familiar word, but amazing word that God is going to bless us with today. And so thank you again for sharing with us. And then stay with us for the end of the broadcast. There are always announcements that we have. But listen, go ahead and start praying now. And then text someone, encourage, wake someone else up, call them, tell them to tune in today. This word is for every believer. God bless you. Peace.
you where God wants us to go. Amen. And then secondly, we do want to encourage you by now you should have received your 2020 census by mail or by, to be completed by phone or online. Please take the opportunity to make a difference in your neighborhood, in your communities. Completing the census will determine how billions of dollars can be can flow throughout our communities for schools, family support, and representation and representation in government over the next decade. So do your part and take uh, pride in what you do as we focus on our 2020 census. Amen. We want to say good morning to all of our online worshipers wherever you are. Thank you so much for worshiping with us. You came this morning to worship with, with us today and we want to worship our Christ. Our praise team has developed this song just for you. Come on first St. John. Let's welcome our
places of residence, oh God, we can experience your presence and your power. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will have your way today, God. We pray and we ask, oh God, that you will lift us from where we are. We pray, God, that your word will encourage, that your word will enlighten, but your word will enable us as we go through this season of the pandemic. We declare and decree that, God, you are our God. You are our Father. You are ever our Father. Lord Jesus, you are our elder brother. And Holy Spirit, you are our sustainer. And we bless you and praise you in the wonderful name of Jesus. So God, now I need you, Lord. Speak life to me, God, while I speak life to you.
not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner. Rather, join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. Finally, verse 9 says, he has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. Yes. Amen. Yeah. As 
a matter of fact, I would prefer to know that the person that I'm listening to that provides a word for me from God experiences spiritual truth first. All right. So that out of conviction you're sharing is not from a fake or a false place, yeah. but it's from a real place. Real place. Uh, as a matter of fact, I love hearing the testimonies of people uh, whom God has brought out of situations. Yeah. It's very difficult to hear from people who've never been through anything and yet because they have an oratorical skill or they do well at public speaking, yeah. they know how to talk about a subject, but it's not about something they themselves have experienced. Yeah. I would think, like the Apostle Paul, and that's the reason why this text is so popular and so familiar, because Paul never asked Timothy to deal with something that he himself hasn't dealt with himself at all. And so I want to take a moment because I believe that the more you hear passionate truth uh, from preachers of the gospel about what God is doing in their life, the better it is to walk through your own personal season. Can I pause and share with Here we go. 
hearing this noise about COVID-19, unaware that there were people who had already been affected. Yes. Unaware that there were people in other countries or people who we were related to that were already going through some sickness, but we didn't know how to call it what it was. Yes. All we knew was that this was a strange kind of flu. It was a strange kind of cough, and we were trying to overcome it. Well, after God began to release knowledge about what we were dealing with, then we discovered that the place or the time of what we were dealing with had a purpose, a purpose that would affect and has now affected the entire world. Bye. 
power that Jesus died on the cross and he rose from the dead and he lives today. Thank you so much, Bishop, and of course, you know, God has been 
continue to speak to us Amen. through you, through the Word of God. And man, you know, we, we can't be none but be courageous yes. in this season. Yes. Amen. Amen. And of course, we do want to encourage First St. John once said, thank you so much for all you do. And uh, a couple of things we want you to be mindful of is our census is coming up. And so we want to make sure that we fill out those census reports so that we can make sure that the monies that are available for our area begin to flow to us. And then, of course, we want to encourage all of our seniors, parents, make sure that your seniors are connected to the First St. John Cathedral so we can celebrate them for this 2020 season. Thank you so much for your tithes, your offering, giving, sowing into the ministry, even sowing into the man of God. Thank you so much. You are awesome, First St. John. We love you today. Amen. And on that word, I will share with you in a few weeks, we're going to do a special presentation for graduation for our students who are connected to First St. John. We really believe that they deserve some kind of celebration. When you've completed, man, high school and college, you deserve a right to be celebrated. And I want you to know that your church family wants to help in that process. And so all seniors will be getting calls and you'll be getting information on how we're going to do that, how we make it happen. And again, thank you so very much for all that you do to give into God's kingdom. We love you so much. And thanks for sharing with us on Mondays and Wednesdays. I really want to encourage you. I've gotten some exciting remarks and compliments or just words of encouragement from that midweek Bible study. Keep listening. Keep sharing with us. And I promise you, you're going to be blessed. God bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you is our prayer. Peace.